Welcome everyone. Welcome to this special series of College Dunia, where we take interviews of all those students who have converted India's top B schools. Today we have among us uh, with uh, Ramya from I am Bangalore, batch of 22-24. Ramya, welcome to the series. Welcome to the show. So Thank Ram, you. Uh, so uh, Ramya, without wasting any more time, uh, let's jump to the very first question. Uh, Ramya, could you please give us a brief profile background uh, before you actually joined I am Bangalore? Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, so I'm a 2017 passed out. So I'm okay. an electrical and electronics engineer. Right. Uh, so basically, after that, I had a short stint uh, as a testing engineer where I worked for around 17 months. Okay. Uh, but then, you know, uh, I had to, like, uh, I was looking for some career options and then I shifted uh, my uh, uh, career as well. So what happened was, like, uh, that was the time of the pandemic, like 2019. So I had to lose a couple of jobs. Like, I, okay. I applied, I was trying for uh, jobs. So what happened was like I was getting rejected as well as like I was getting fired because of the pandemic. So I decided okay this was happening. So I started my own business after that. Right. So basically from technical engineer to entrepreneur that was my journey before getting into IIM. <laughs> right. And uh, Ramya, so uh, my next question is Ramya, why MBA? Like I understood that you know from technical background then to business. So how did you actually justify that question during the interviews? I really want to know. <clears throat> So I think to this question, if you're very honest, definitely you'll be able to make the panelists believe what you're trying to say. Okay. Uh, so by that, what I mean is like, I really uh, like had, uh, I, since I was going through rough patch as well as I started my own business, hmm. I understood the importance of business, like the, hmm. you know, the impact that it had on people's life, like giving uh, jobs as well as, you know, uh, right. people working for themselves and the, uh, really career is something that people look ahead and they want to do it. Uh, except they, uh, people do it, uh, you know, like throughout their lives, right? Mm. So it is very important. So I thought, why not be that kind of a person where I'm able to make some changes, especially in the career, uh, you know, uh, path of someone's life. So that, right. uh, you know, be, uh, becoming an uh, entrepreneur as well as providing jobs to others, uh, that really fascinated me. Like being able right. to bring some, uh, you know, uh, create some impact in others' lives. So that was my motivation and I just uh, told the same thing to the panelists as well. So basically this business school, this MBA, mm -hmm. like whatever I'm going to do here, it will help me in this part, like where I would be like creating a huge impact in the later stage. So uh, my next question is, I hope you don't mind me asking. So what was your uh, exact CAT percentile? Uh, I got 94.75 percentile. Right. Uh, so uh, my uh, VARC was around 88 percentile that just, uh, I, I just lost there. And then my uh, logical reasoning, it was around uh, uh, 95.76 and my QA was around 93 point uh, right. some percentile. Yeah, yeah. so uh, Ramen 94.75, right? So uh, what were the other colleges that you shortlisted for, you know, where you wanted to join uh, apart from IIMs, of course? <clears throat> I actually uh, applied to all IITs, like major IITs. Uh, mm. So I got uh, shortlist as well. And I also applied like Bombay, Delhi, Madras, and uh, uh, I think I applied to like uh, Karakpur, yeah. Right. Four IITs and then I applied to FMS. So these right. were the five other colleges other than IIMs I applied and I got the shortlist from all of them, yeah. Got it. So, uh, Ramya, what were your basis for actually shortlisting IITs? Like, uh, what were you thinking while filling the forms? <clears throat> So basically, uh, uh, it's being a show and creating entrepreneurs and then, you know, uh, like especially in the business path, it's not just IAMs that are creating an impact. Hmm. If you look at IATs and the incubator, uh, incubation centers and all those things, you'll definitely get to understand like, what are the kind of impact that they are creating as well. Right. So my major factor for listing uh, uh, IATs were based on that. Like uh, predominantly people from other uh, startup culture, how is the startup culture mm. in particular college, as well as like how are the faculties, uh, mm. their profiles. So these are all kind of you know, uh, factors that involve uh, my decision in uh, choosing other colleges. So, Ramya, so you actually graduated in 2017, right? So, when did you start preparing for the CAT exam? <clears throat> So I wrote my first CAD in 2018 actually. Okay. Uh, I had no idea like uh, to be honest like I was working and then uh, uh, I was thinking about something else, like uh, changing my career path and all those things. Hmm. I, had, I I really there was a time when I didn't know like the CAT had uh, three different sections uh, hmm. of that sort. So first year 2018 just went like that. 2019 okay. again. Uh, so uh, since I had to lose a couple of uh, jobs and I, I was right. really not very uh, you know. Uh, focused on CAT. 
but then uh, 2020 and 2021 were the years where i really focused and then uh, 2021 really worked out so it's like four years four years so when did you start when did you seriously started preparing for the cat exam like was it 2020 or 2021 <clears throat> it's, it was 2020 so okay. i was actually at the point uh, where i was uh, preparing every single day consistently in 2020 okay. Uh, uh, like it was actually 300 uh, marks paper, right? Initially, right, right. So, so uh, uh, I was like preparing for that. So, all of a sudden, because of the COVID, the pattern changed. Mm. So, I don't know, like, it was that shift. Uh, I was not able to like really clear one section, yeah, right. because of that. Yes, I remember it uh, very well, right? So, uh, yes, uh, seriousness, Ramya, we have encountered this word seriousness so many times in the past interviews, and uh, I would like to highlight this word again that. Uh, you know, you no matter how much you prepare, when when you're not serious for the CAT exam, it's it's not it's never going to you know be crap. So be serious, be loyal to your uh, preparation at least. And uh, jumping right right next to the question, uh, Ramya, what is that one thing that actually helped you convert or actually crack the CAT exam? Definitely say that I didn't uh, like I said right. Consistency is like the hmm. key to uh, success with CAT exam. Uh, why I'm saying this is because. When you regularly start solving, especially with, uh, you know, it involves three sections. Verbal, logical reasoning and queuing. Mm. Logical reasoning, it is like innate to some human beings. Uh, I think it would be mo uh, to most of the human beings. But QA and uh, VARC definitely needs much more practice than LR. Right. I would say. Uh, so, uh, VARC uh, being the section, uh, you know, uh, where it involves reading. It cannot uh, come to you or you, uh, the words that are used and the sentence mm. syntax and all those things. It will not come to you, uh, you know, instinctively. Right. So, you have to be a reader throughout if you are going to crack that exam in a day like with zero preparation. Something right. or one way or the other, your previous uh, preparation would definitely help out here. So, you have to prepare. There's no like uh, easy way to this. Right. So, to all the viewers, Consistency and seriousness are the two important words that you have to, you know, make your best friends during your CAD preparation. Now, uh, jumping straight away to the GDPI uh, preparation, Ramya. So when, so in 20, so you have been uh, giving CAD since 2018, right? So, but did you yeah. appear for any GDPIs during those four years also? Oh uh, no. Okay. I didn't. Uh, so, uh, like, I was an entrepreneur, right? I was right. Uh, also helping students with their IELTS preparation. So, me right. being an IELTS instructor, uh, it really helped me out. I know, like, how you have to, you know, really talk and then how you, uh, like, if there is an interview, what are those uh, things that you have to follow? So, I got okay. that. Uh, I mean, I learned that through my, uh, my way of teaching. So, uh, it really helped me out. So, in case if you ask me, uh, like, uh, if I did a serious preparation, I would say I prepared for being an IELTS instructor. That okay. helped me out. So, uh, Rame, is it safe to assume that you uh, did your uh, GDP preparation uh, on the self-to-self -self basis? Like, did you? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, perfect. And uh, Rame, I really want to know that were there any GDs that you appeared for? Like, I know uh, in the 2021, uh, during the COVID times, there was hardly any GD. So, did you appear for any GD? No, I didn't have any GD. So, I did not appear for any GDs. Right. And how about the VAT or we say the AWT or writing validity test? Were, did you appear for any? So, during uh, my, uh, you know, uh, year that is 2021, right. what happened was like uh, only Bangalore had this section that is WAT or AWT. Right. So, uh, we had this software called Metal where we uh, like inputted our answers uh, there. Yeah. Okay. So, basically, uh, uh, we did have uh, VAT that year. So, uh, Ramesh, could you recollect what were the what was the topic that was given to you? Yeah, it was about reading books and mm -hmm. how they are impacting others' lives, something of that sort. Related to reading, yeah. Reading. So, uh, uh, basically, Ram like uh, different people uh, used to have different uh, kind of uh, questions, right? Uh, so, uh, it uh, most of them revolved around your skills and how you're going to improve it. What kind of right. impact it wasn't going to make. Uh, it was uh, that kind of uh, VAT uh, this time. Okay. And Ramya, how did you approach uh, to that topic? Like, what was your approach? How did you write that topic? How did you frame your uh, ideas? And how did you put those ideas into the uh, paper? How did you do that? So, first thing, when I was asked about uh, reading, 
uh, what i did was like i uh, wrote down the flow of my uh, thoughts like whatever uh, you know uh, popped up in my mind the moment i saw the question i right. just uh, jotted it down on a piece of paper then i just took out like some important points like which i think will be relevant and then mm-hmm. i framed upon that uh, then even if i have to add some point like other than uh, mm-hmm. those things that i have not jotted down uh, i usually like uh, i I don't know. It was uh, some points were momentary and some were jotted okay. down. Yeah. So uh, what we I think the word that you were looking was was uh, instinctively right. That. Right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Right. Exactly. Got it. So uh, you said that you have to maintain the flow. So even if you while writing, I want to mention that to the viewers that while writing, what happens is even if you have jotted the points right. when you start writing there are some thoughts that you can uh, hit you while writing also so you have to focus on that points as well and uh, uh, ramya now jumping straight away to the pi and i uh, sorry for the interruption right. uh, uh, chaitanya like uh, i would also like uh, ask people like who were uh, cat mm-hmm. aspirants are like uh, like this really helped me out with my okay. uh, vat basically so right. while you texting Uh, like uh, most of them they use a native language right? right like if you start texting in english like uh, i used to uh, still now i have followed that habit hmm. i text everyone with like full stop and then question mark okay. i use all the uh, uh, marks properly so this right. uh, this might help yeah okay so that was uh, completely new information ramya thank you for uh, sharing that with us and uh, ramya uh, now jumping straight away to the pi experience the i am bangalore pi experience how was it i think Uh, the moment uh, the interview uh, started the, uh, they did not ask me uh, about uh, you know uh, my uh, awt or uh, whatever i have written like sop all right. those things it was not considered straight away they just asked me a technical question do you know what lipo and uh, fifo means okay they didn't ask for my uh, you know uh, uh, introduction like yeah they didn't ask yeah. for my introduction right away they just asked about this like after some point of time uh the panelist asked about me and then he read some lines from my sop and then okay. he asked why did you do this why did why why did you even become an ielts instructor so you have to be very sure about whatever like you have done in your past like why right. did you do it come up with answers come up with valid reasons right like and whatever you are also going to do in the future you have to be very sure about it so i think the panelists were looking for that kind of clarity hmm. right and uh, how many panelists were there during your interview ramya uh, actually there were five uh, i know like usually uh, three panelists will be there right. uh, to me there were five and uh, some panelists they just you know uh, <laughs> they just remove themselves from the uh, i mean during the interview then they again they joined back i don't know what was happening so i have never heard of five panelists so how did you keep your calm when you saw those five panelists in front of you i really want to know Uh, no i just uh, like i started thinking might be you know uh, they were just there just because they did uh, you know disconnect themselves from the uh, you know right. interview i don't know what exactly happened but then yeah uh, like some people they were disconnected uh, like they were on mute or something hmm. they didn't listen to what i was saying then suddenly they joined in and they asked me questions so it. it was a totally different experience right and so how long was your uh, interview ramya <clears throat> i think it was around 40 to 45 minutes 40 to 45 minutes and yeah. uh, ramya like like you said that uh, you completed your graduation 2017 right and you have to justify what you did in the past 4 to 5 years right so what were the questions yeah. that you faced for your uh, work ex or your for your you know uh, the gap years also so to say <clears throat> uh, not just bangalore i think the a, every other iim that mm. really shortlisted me for their uh, pi vat rounds asked me the same question like right. i told the honor stands like whatever i right. told you like i was uh, going through career shift and I, then i started my business this exactly mm. happened i think the panelists they were very understanding when i uh, told them like what exactly happened they were not looking right. for something like you know uh, i did this that mm-hmm. uh, like like or uh, they were like checking if i was lying or not so right. like if, if if your answer is valid and it is definitely uh, panelists are going to agree so when i explained my career path they were like very understandable and they yeah they accepted my answers uh right ramya so uh, did they ask you about uh, your degree or something uh, because for like for as as a fresher i the only questions that i encountered was related to my degree right so were there any questions that you faced uh, regarding your degree and if they were asked really 
so i really want to know that how did you answer because there's four years gap and you have to answer that correctly so i really want to know how did you do that so when i got to know about my pa uh, and uh, vat right. shortlist the first thing that i did was like take all of my you know previous uh, like what have i have done like right. all the books that i have studied uh, in those four years mm. so um, i'm i'm an electrical and electronics engineer imagine right. like i had to like there are like 60 plus subjects and i had <laughs> to like pick up 10 subjects and i literally like uh, went through the uh, went through like the first page till the last page of the book Uh, like for uh, for uh, I just focus on those ten subjects. I know like mm. these subjects were uh, very important. Mm. I know I uh, like uh, you know uh, panelists are going to ask me about that mm-hmm. uh, subject. So almost like uh, uh, most of the IIMs as well as like other uh, mm. IITs as well, they grilled me uh, literally with uh, the triple E subjects. Right. <laughs> so i had to like i wrote down all the formulae and then uh, mm. i even studied i went to like uh, 10th 12th uh, i mean 10th and 12th physics and chemistry subjects then i started mm. solving math so i think uh, especially for pi like more than the cat itself i put in lots of efforts to uh, crack pi right so uh, ramya uh, and i really want to know that were there any current affairs question because in of course covid and all of that happened russia ukraine war was there So, did you encounter some of the questions regarding the current affairs as well? Yeah, not just current affairs, GK as well. <laughs> GK also. Yeah. Uh, so uh, again, I'm telling you, like I, I told you, right? For PI, I just uh, gave my like one twenty percent. Like I covered all the subjects, physics, chemistry. Not just that, I used to read two different newspapers every single day. Right. Okay. I used to cover from the start till end, uh, Mint and Hindu. I used to follow religiously till I, uh, you know. Uh, gave my last interview and then still now like I just uh, you know go through the paper. It it's like that one happened that that has helped me a lot. You have to do it, I think, if you're like going for PI and that round. Right. So uh, thank you, Ramya. I really want to thank you for being with us. Uh, the last thing that I really want to ask is that is there any uh, suggestion to our viewers something really important that our viewers should know uh, during their journey of CAT preparation? especially during uh, cat preparation i know it's going to be very very difficult right. like sometimes you might score very low on your marks mm. and you might want to give up and then you might want to like if you decide to take a break please do mm. and then get back with course and start solving every single question right. that is the only way like remember definitely consistency uh, consistency will pay off right i just want to uh, say that to my uh, you know who were is going to prepare for cat mm. as well as i'm also going to say that this uh, iams and uh, mm. colleges here are not the only end or the destination you can like try out anything that you want right that's my you know uh, two cents right so perfectly put ram thank you so much for joining with us and to all the viewers thank you thank thanks to you as well for joining in and uh, we hope we were able to add some value to your cat preparation and thank you ram thank you for your time i know i am bangalore has a hectic schedule but thank you so much for your time ram thank you Thank you.